Hey everybody, Matty Ice here, and in today's video I'm going to take you through the Hypernet Current Grandmaster. Now if you do find this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to the channel, as it really does help me out. Now this first part is going to be pretty standard. You're going to use the distance that you have, use any cover that's available to just shoot everything from a distance. Again, strand is incredibly helpful here, just being able to suspend all the dogs and suspend things while you shoot all the legionnaires and the guys who flap in the air. Now you're going to keep doing this until you make your way up into the cave, but before we get there, I do just want to talk quickly about loadouts. There are overload and unstoppable champs throughout this whole Grandmaster, so I highly recommend using something for the overload. The unstoppables, there's several ways to deal with them. The best way I've found is just to have somebody with suspend, either through a grenade. A suspend titan is just the best thing in the world, because they can suspend through their barricade, they can suspend through the grenade, just so many different options. In addition to that, you just want to make sure you have something that can do big sustained damage. I highly recommend a machine gun. And personally, I, if you're on Warlock, I love using Wither Horde or Starfires. It's just still busted this season. There's talks of it being nerfed in the future, but it's still probably going to be a really big contender, at least for the rest of the season. If you're on Titan or Hunter, again, I, Strand is great for both those classes. Hunter, I could give a suggestion for Void just for the invis, and your Falcons is never a bad option here. That's kind of up to you as far as your personal preference and your team composition, but as long as you have at least one person on strand and a well, you should be fine. The well's optional, but I think it's just helpful. So once you make your way into the cave area, again, it's going to be a lot of ag clear, but this is where you come across your first uh, unstopped champion. Make sure you suspend him and just take him out from a distance or just clear out all the ads while he's stuck. The main thing you want to watch out for are those turrets and make, the, make sure you take those out from a distance. Now, when you get to the big open area, Again, there's going to be turrets, and you want to make sure you take those out as quickly as possible. Make sure you stay down low, and don't do what I do here and go up too early, because if you go up too early, the snipers on the left will delete you very quickly. So once you've cleared out all the original trash here, a giant tormentor boss is going to spawn. I like to take him out from the big cliff on the right side. I recommend doing this just because the tormentor doesn't really come up to you, and it gives you great height advantage on everything else. So again, there's an unstoppable here. You can suspend him. It makes it very easy to deal with him. But again, I recommend just doing everything from up on the cliff. You can see here why, just because the Tormentor doesn't really do anything to you, and you can just get very good cover just from the natural landscape. Now, when you do get him to half health, he goes into a bit of a rage mode, and that's when you have to actually start moving, because then he starts doing like that little jump attack and will come up to get you. Again, at half health, besides the rage mechanic on the Tormentor, more ads will spawn and another unstoppable. What I'd suggest doing here is to kite the boss around with one person while everyone else does the cleanup. Or you can try to just run around the boss and clear the ads as a group. Using these little pillars that the turrets are on is very useful. The boss can still hit you on them, but he can't run up to like attack you physically. He can just clip through the architecture a little bit to hit you. But you should be able to survive at least one hit and be able to take him out. Again, using a well with Starfires is really nice. You can just stand on top of one of those pillars and just rain fire down. All right, once you get into the Vex net, there's going to be several unstops in a row. I recommend taking this first one out from a distance. Just use the, use the distance so you don't have to get hit by anything. You can take them out easy peasy. And then once you get down there, focus the unstops. But make sure you don't get too close to them because you don't want to get hit by those little taken blights. Those blights will pretty much one-shot you. And especially if you've taken any damage, you'll just be deleted. So just keep progressing through there until you get to the part with the Taken Blight Room. You can use the laser to delete these blights pretty quickly. If not, you can use your regular guns to do it and grenades. I highly recommend the laser. But what you want to make sure you do here is actually save some of the laser core. So when you get to the Sparrow section, before you drop down, shoot that first blight in front of you. Because that actually removes all of them from the Sparrow track. So then you can have a nice easy sparrow ride through and you're more likely to succeed. You still have to watch out for all the ads. There's just one less thing to worry about. Once you finish the sparrow part, this is where you're going to start encountering some of your overloads. Now there are a bunch of overload snipers here. You want to make sure you just take them out one at a time, use the distance that you have, and watch out for those taken grenade things. You don't want to jump up too early to the platform where the second row of snipers are just because if you do it too quickly, there is like a fifth sniper or fourth sniper, I lost count, that can shoot at you. So just make sure you use the cover. If you have to go back to like the entrance of this part and just go left side, then right side, or right side, then left side, do that. But just be careful of that additional sniper in the back. When you get to the part where you have to take out the taken rifts with the ogres that eventually spawn, 
There are two snipers in here again, Overload Champions. I recommend leaving them alone, actually, until you've cleared out all the trash. So you can stun them, suspend them, whatever, but there's going to be a ton of these taken thrall, a couple minotaurs, and just general noise that you have to deal with. So I recommend just taking that out first. When you get to 50%, that's when the ogres spawn, and it's actually kind of easy because you can just suspend all the ogres at once with a grenade or a barricade or something, but they're just easy pickings once you've suspended them. So finish taking out all the adds and finish clearing out all the rifts, and then you're good to go. You can take a laser up to the boss room if you want. It just helps you get like that initial damage done. It's up to you, it's not necessary, but it's just something that can make it a little easier to get through the first phase. And speaking of first phase, the boss has three phases. The first of which spawns an unstoppable champion and a bunch of other adds. Again, focus on the adds first and the champion first. The boss is gonna be shooting those little taken blights at you. Try to avoid those as much as possible, but they will not one-shot you, so you can take some damage and still be fine. Especially if something goes down, don't be afraid to go out there. As long as you have full health, you can survive one or two of those. Once you have gotten through the first health gate, some more Taken Blight spawn that you have to destroy in order to go to the next phase, I recommend just, again, clearing out all the adds, focusing on like one or two of the Vex Minotaurs, so you can get the laser cores. But actually the boss, since the boss is taken, and these guys are Vex, the boss will actually shoot at the Vex. So it can be a nice little distraction for you. So I recommend leaving at least one of the Vex groups up while you clear out all the Taken adds, and then you can use the laser core or just your regular gun to clear out the blights. There are no champions for this phase, but there are champions when you get to the next damage phase. So make sure you time that appropriately so you don't get caught out in the open. For the next damage phase, the boss actually goes to the walled side of the room so make sure you go to the open side so you can get some good cover. And again, clear out all the adds. This time there is an overload champion that spawns. So keep that in mind while you are running around and doing your thing. Again, clear the adds first, take out the champion first, and then worry about the boss. For the next intermission phase, it's pretty much the same thing. Only this time there's those taken rifts that you have to worry about as opposed to the blights. So if you're in a bit of a sticky situation, I recommend taking out half the rifts on one side, and then you have like one side that's good for cover. And again, leave some of the Vex group up, just so the boss is distracted. Make sure you clear out all the adds, and then you're good to go. Again, this is kind of like a rinse and repeat, nothing too fancy here. The boss is going to be in the open side of the arena, and will stay there once you've cleared all the rifts. So once you've cleared all the rifts, clear out all the adds like you did before. There is an unstoppable champion this time, so make sure you take out that unstoppable champion and then you're free to just unload on the boss. This encounter is very cyclical. It's very easy to do, honestly. There's a lot of cover. It's not too bad. The main thing you have to worry about here is the boss's projectiles, those little seekers. They will absolutely destroy you, so just keep an eye out for those. If you have one person just kind of focusing on those, then it's pretty easy to do. But yeah, once you've cleared out all the adds, the boss is free and open. Wither Horde blows through the shield, any anti-barrier thing will go through the shield. Liminarch will go through the shield. So it's pretty much just like Glassway as far as like taking out the Hydra boss. But yeah, that'll be it. So make sure you commend your teammates and thank you all so much for watching. If you want any help with this one, again, more than happy to help out. Just reach out to me in Discord or wherever and I will see you guys in the next one.